गेम स्टॉप गेम स्टॉप गेम स्टॉप गेम स्टॉप गेम स्टॉक सो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी हर्ड द थिंग दैट हैपन दिस रिसेंट फ्यू डेज बैक इट वॉज अ मेजर फाइनेंशियल इवेंट इन द लास्ट डेकेड और सो टू से इन द होल हिस्ट्री इन द यू एस स्टॉक मार्केट so in this video i'm going to explain you what actually happened with the gamestop because i have been investing in finance for last 2 years in indian stock markets so uh, i'm an amateur investor but i will be highlighting these points because you will learn a lot from these events so i will touch upon three main points in this video what is uh, what happened with gamestop the demand supply curve how it affects the stock market the shorting the short squeeze the individual investors like me what it means for the individual investors like me the lessons learned and the precautions so the game stocks um stock price recently skyrocketed by 1700% to which was nearly about 17 dollars in january and 4 dollars last year they just went up within a like within a span of time a few days back to 347 dollars This was good for retail investors like you and me who have invested but it was really bad for big corporations like the hedge fund firms like Melvin Capital in this case so these firms were almost near the doors of bankruptcy and they have to settle their position so you might be thinking what all gibberish i'm saying so if you are new to finance then in the next part of the video i'm going to explain all these terms that i'm talking about and why this happened how this chain of events started and how this leads to the infinite money glitch in the stock market this happened because of shorting epic short squeeze and all these social media driven posts and encouragement to other people so let me first touch upon the important point of the demand supply curve and how it works in the stock market so for example each company they have different shares and if you want to buy certain number of shares for for one company then you need to understand the demand and supply curve so suppose many people are buying a share then the demand goes up and similarly because of that the prices of that stock also goes up and going to the reverse if the supply goes up that is more people are selling their shares that they are holding then the stock price of that share goes down so in simple words if more people want to buy a stock instead of selling it then the stock price will go up if more people want to sell a share instead of buying it then the stock price of that share goes down so what is shorting that i mentioned few times back so shorting is nothing but selling something that you have borrowed from someone before so you don't own it you have borrowed it from your friend or some a broker and you sell it first and then you buy it when you think that the rate of that object um or the share goes down so in that way you can make a profit i th- i think something will be floating over your head so i will explain you with a simple example suppose you have uh, borrowed an apple from a broker and uh, then you sell it first so maybe the price of the apple is 20 us dollars and you sell it first then you assume that the price of the apples after a certain period of time are going to fall so what you do is you then buy the apple after few days for a lesser price say for example 15 us dollars then what happens is after you buy the apple then you return the apple to the broker from whom you borrowed but you keep the difference that is the profit of 5 us dollars in this case so this happens in stock markets especially in the wall street or the us stock markets um people can sell a huge number of shares hedge fund firms they accumulate number of shares they do their analysis and research and they have a negative betting so they bet that the price of this share or this company because of so so reasons uh is going to fall in the future so we will accumulate number of shares by borrowing them and selling them by shorting them and then later when the prices go down then we'll buy the shares and make a huge profit in that uh, manner 
in this GameStop scenario, um, Melvin Capital, which was a big hedge fund firm, was shorting the shares of uh, GameStop for a longer time. And they thought because of COVID-19, GameStop was already running into losses. So probably the share prices will go down in the future. This happens for years and years. This is not a very new thing, but in this case, something new happened. So it was very fascinating and interesting that uh, there was a Reddit page called Wall Street Bets, where you can find some publicly listed infos of a where a community of people are speaking always about which shares to buy, which shares to bet on, uh, which can give you profit loss. So in that, there was a publicly available info that some hedge fund firms are, are shorting GameStop and it's in bulk so they thought like why not um, let's buy those shares so if you remember the demand and supply curve if they start buying those shares then the stock price will go up but if you want to really challenge these hedge fund firms then you need to really have a bigger community of these individual or retail investors who can buy like one or two shares each so you need like a million of people who can really give a challenge. So what happened was this Wall Street bets, the community was very rapidly increasing because of the COVID-19 people are at home. They are, uh, they have internet and they want to learn about the stock market, invest and earn some quick money. So everyone started buying some shares in GameStop by seeing this post. And also if you see Twitter, uh, Elon Musk, he made a tweet, just one word, GameStonk. And then there was this Reddit page link of the Wall Street bets. And then suddenly the 43 million followers of him were driven to uh, buying the GameStop. So what these people were doing was they wanted to push the share price up. So for example, when Elon Musk made the tweet, if you buy those shares at that time, and maybe after an hour, the share prices go really skyrocketing up because everyone, some million people have bought some million shares or maybe twice a million shares. Uh, then immediately people start selling it and book the profit. So uh, what they did was they were challenging these hedge fund firms which thought that in the future the price is going to go down and it made them really worried because as I said in the beginning the, the prices went up from $17 a share to $347 a share because of the huge demand that everyone was buying those shares and it was pumping up the price. So this caused a massive buying spree and suddenly Melvin Capital started to panic because they had a lot of huge chunk of shares in that. And if they don't settle their losses, then maybe they might go bankrupt. So what they did was they took uh, some loan and then they started to settle their position with the huge loss. It was in some billion US dollars. Again, when they want to settle the position, if you remember, as I said about shorting, so they had sold it in the big, beginning now they are going to buy it so this caused like a buying frenzy so it was like people were buying already and these people also wanted to settle their losses so they started buying this caused a short squeeze which is like in a very short span of time so many people start buying those shares that the prices of the share go skyrocketing high so that's what happened with gamestop and suddenly 1700 percent rise happened with the stock price so what is the consequence of this so many years it has been already many years that these hedge fund firms always do this kind of shorting and they earn a lot of money at the expense of these retail investors but now when they were beaten at their own game their own park by these uh, retail investors who are called like uh, dumb money in wall street language so they started saying that SEC, which is like the Security and Exchange Commission, which monitors all these transactions and the legality of these transactions, because in this case, nothing was illegal. Everything was legal within the boundary of the law framework. And people just picked up that particular loophole and tried to exploit it to the maximum extent as possible. So now they are saying like SEC should regulate, you should bring a law that this kind of shorting is illegal. So when they were doing shorting for like 10, 20 years or even more, it was good. But when they start uh, losing money, uh, big money, then they started start to say that this should be regulated. This is not legal. Many people are also complaining that the broker in this case, Robin Hood, such an ironic name. So Robin Hood was um, stopping like creating some kind of limitation, restriction in the app that these people, normal people, who were buying these shares 
uh, cannot buy it anymore after noticing all this uh, infinite money glitch that happened because of the sudden rise of the share price of GameStop and people started complaining. So one important lesson and a precaution that I can say that you should take before investing in the stock market is uh, the share prices never show a true value of a company. Like take the example of GameStop, this kind of manipulation uh, made the prices so high, but there were already they were laying off employees and they had huge losses in their balance sheet because of COVID-19. So um, also from my experience, I am not that experienced. I'm very amateur investor, just like the people who invested in GameStop. Um, you should never be driven by emotions. Stock market share prices mostly show the emotions and they never show a true value of the company. So do your analysis, do your research, take appropriate precautions and never invest or never be driven by the emotions of sudden rise or sudden fall, which is never a true value of the company. And there is and recently because of COVID-19 and many other factors, if you see the financial news, people are saying that the stock market of different countries has a huge disconnect from the real value of the companies. And this gap is widening. So this is a very threatening thing. So before doing uh, investment, take appropriate precautions and research. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button, share this video, subscribe to the channel. I hope you learned something about finance if you are a beginner. See you in my upcoming videos. Till then, goodbye. Sambit PhD. Peace.